Hi, my name is David Chiripov. Um, so this is this will be for the 2015 ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. So in case you don't know what ALS is, or even if you do, I'm going to like illustrate it with a, an example for juggling. So when you're living your life, so let's start with five balls. So be living your life normally and unaware of anything being wrong. Just do varying activities. Um, and then you might notice that that your foot, that your right foot moves a little slower than the left one. And then then you go might go to the doctor and have no idea what it would be, but it doesn't seem like a big problem. But then you say. Or maybe it might be a big problem, but still don't know. And then you might say that, you might direct you to a neurologist and say that it could be ALS. And then you can't really walk that well and might have to use a cane. And then, or maybe even seven, two, two canes or a walker. And so then it just gets, there's less, less that you can do. And then some point might not be able to might not be able to walk at all and might not be able to even use uh, hand arms hands and arms very well and then and be able to talk and then eventually be unable to breathe and then so what what do you and then that or some some people might live for a very long time with it but that's a, that's a rarity and even then um, it would be really hard to imagine life like that where you know, mostly you can still think well but stuck in a body that can't that just can't do what you want it to at all you just can't really do much of anything so what so um it would be extremely helpful if you could if you could donate to the sites or tell tell other people about the sites Hope Now for ALS and ALSTDI.org. Hope Now for ALS is a website that's that's for like making that's for making the lives of the current ALS patients like that's um hopefully hopefully better and extending it and making it better somewhat. And part of that is that the FDA is blocking access to certain experimental drugs. And if if the if the organization, if any organization, but like Hope Now for ALS is one of them. Hope Now for ALS got enough funding, and it could um, sponsor um, get, don't giving drugs of the experimental drug companies that have, that are that aren't being allowed access to insurance claims. Insurance like giving out for insurance by the FDA. Um, so then it, it might allow people to more people to use those. Besides the very, very limited clinical trials, um, because they can't afford to do that much, and also um, ALS TDI, which is um, a leading leading institute for for um, we're develop it's ALS treat, treatment development institute, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis treatment development institute, and it's one of the leading organizations that are developing treatments for ALS. Um, yes. So, you could if you could donate to either of those sites or tell anyone about them, it would be very, be very, very helpful to. I, I, I and I forgot to say, but my my, my dad is, uh, my dad probably is diagnosed with ALS. Probably not entirely sure on details, but yes, uh, I'm, my dad is diagnosed with ALS. Um, and this is bucket. Um, uh, Kind of strange if you're doing it yourself but okay uh, one second oh so, yeah if you could if you could down if you could donate to hope now for ALS.org or ALSTDI.org it would be extremely helpful in helping people like my dad maybe with longer happier lives uh, okay and then the families of those involved okay <laughs> and stopping then hopefully Making, hopefully, making it so that it's at some point in the future there isn't anyone with this disease. Okay. Okay.
Okay. That's that's my bit for for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge in 2015. Though so don't forget uh, it, it, it will be it will be extremely helpful to donate to hopenowforals.org or alscdi.org. I donate um, Johnny Gordon, Daniel Gordon, and Aaron Johnson. And yeah, that's it, I guess. Goodbye.